Welcome to another video, guys. Today is <clears throat> one of your guys' favorite videos, and that is April's Mystery Tackle Box. You guys really seem to love the Mystery Tackle Boxes, so, yeah, let's get into this. <clears throat> oh, alright, I gotta show you guys first. I love Mystery Tackle Box. If you guys don't know what Mystery Tackle Box is, Mystery Tackle Box is a monthly subscription, and this one is $10 a month, I believe, and you get new baits and stuff that you want to try out, so that's kind of cool. It's, I really like it. <clears throat> so you guys can see in there. So first off, oh, well that's not good. The seal was broken. It's not one of those tags that you can pull off, so it must have just came undone in shipping. So. Uh, the first bait that we have here are Big Bite Baits Craws. I really do like Big Bite Baits on my trailers, so, yeah, for jigs and stuff like that. So, we have Big Bite Baits. And then we have Thunderhawk Craws. These look really juicy, guys, like, seriously. Oh, yeah. Alright, guess it. You can already probably tell by the bait. But we have a Guggen Squad Juicy Jig. Now, I've wanted to get my hands on one of these guys for a while. This is the 5 16th ounce jig. They're tungsten too, which is super nice. I just, I like, I like Guggen Squad jigs because they have the, uh, the number, how, what the weight is on there. And they have some really sick patterns. But they're made by Ketchco too, so you can probably get the, I mean, they're not going to be the same quality because they're a little bit more expensive than Ketchco's, but. Alright. Now, this one, I'm a little iffy about, guys. Just looking at it from first opinions. It's the 13 Fishing Motorboat. Now, the reason I'm skeptical about this right off the bat is it's a soft plastic with a trailer, like a buzz bait kind of thing. But it's like, what if the fish rips the plastic apart? <clears throat> if you guys want to see a video on me fishing with this thing, that'd be that'd be cool. I guess I'll I'll do that this weekend. This weekend is my birthday, so I'm going up to my cabin and I'm just fishing all weekend. So there will be a ton of fishing footage. Hopefully we can get some. It's still a little early in Wisconsin <coughs> here um, to get some of them. It's still kind of like pre-spawn. So, yeah. It's yeah, it's still kind of going to be hard to fish because they're down deep yet. And the water hasn't quite warmed up. Last time I went out, I think the water was like 50-something, 30-something, something like that. I can't remember. It was reading on my helix. But, yeah, we're definitely going to fish hard this weekend. Try and go and flip under some docks and stuff. But, yeah, I'll make a video, actually, after this one, explaining some of my favorite baits for uh, pre-spawn. Or post, no, what is it? It's pre-spawn, yeah. So, I'll make a video of that. But, the reason I'm very interested in this bait is, for one, when this, when this particular soft plastic falls apart, I mean, it's durable. But that doesn't scare a two and a half pound largemouth coming up at it and like ripping it apart. Especially in northern. Like especially if you fish on the river like me. Northern could tear this up in one piece. Like every soft plastic. And you just have to, you can't use them after that. So it's durable, but a northern's not going to stop it. And the hook just popped out. <laughs> so, I mean, it looks enticing, but... I don't know. And this is plastic. It's plastic. Like, I don't know. I'll get back to this. Alright, so the next part, or the next thing that I really like this. So, especially uh, Catch Co. lately with their Mystery Tackle Boxes has been putting at least one Guggen Bait in all of my uh, Mystery Tackle Boxes so far. So, I'm super happy about that. I really do love Guggen Baits. They have it going for them. They all fish so they know what they're talking about and they know what stuff works. So, And they put that in all of their designs and all of their lures. So I really do like them. <clears throat> I have the Guggen Squ Scout and the Juicy Jig for 
that kind of fades, but then I have soft plastics and stuff like that from them. So this is the Blue Craw. I'd like to get all the different patterns. It's fun to open up. There we go. So yeah, this is the Blue Craw pattern. Sorry I haven't been doing a bunch of bass fishing lately, but that's just because I just haven't been able to bass fish because I'm not my boat and stuff. So, And we don't have a lot of lakes around here where I live, so I go up to my cabin or river. Since, well, we, we have a river, but I don't fish on the river without my boat. So, yeah, as you can see here, this is the blue craw pattern. It's the 516 ounce. Yes, 516. And the nice thing is they have all that right there labeled, so when you're in your jig box and you're just looking around, you can just find it right away. I've seen a lot of stuff about jig trimming. I'm really interested to try that, actually. Probably not on this one, because I like this. But So, yeah, that's this guy. Now, what kind of a trailer would you even put on this? I'm like, it's medium. This looks like a football jig trailer is what I would use. Use that, but all right. So next is the Thunder Hawk. These look really good, actually. And on the river, I noticed too that a lot of the craws by me on pool five, um, they have like the greenish bluish hint on them. Like they're not orange; they're greenish blue. So these actually would probably work because a lot of the craws you find that I find, um, just they they're all red. Or pumpkin, which pumpkin works, but I've only caught them on blue, really. Oh, these are cool. They have a neat texture to them. I really like these, actually. So that's these guys. Let's just see how ridiculous this will look once. Maybe it won't look ridiculous at all. But So if you guys don't know how to put a trailer on a jig, which most of you probably do, but if you don't, you want to take your weed guard and pull your weed guard down until you have just the hook. What you're going to want to do is put the end, there's a circle, okay? Put the end in. Like so. Keep the bait, keep the hook in the middle of the bait. Okay, wrap it all the way up until you get to about here, to about the bend. Pop your hook out, and then slide the bait up toward the keeper. Well, that actually looks really good, guys. That looks really good. That's a good jig. Holy cow. Yeah, I'll be using this this weekend, for sure. So, that's how I love to rig my jigs, because then you have the weed guard there, and it just looks like a sleek presentation. And now, <clears throat> one of my favorite spots to fish a jig is under the docks. So when you're pitching it, um, I like to fish it under all the docks and then all of the sludge and stuff like that where you can't get just any other bait. So I love using it in there. Alright, I'll make a whole video about fishing a jig if you guys would like. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely going to put this on. And a rod that I love to use jigs on is my medium, or no, it's my, is it medium heavy? It's medium heavy or heavy. I don't know, I didn't really look at it, it's just heavy. So, I put this on my favorite, my, uh, Flair's favorite rod, on um, my favorite rod, and I use, uh, the Shimano SLX DC on that, and I love it for pitching up under the docks and stuff, because if you get that backlash, it'll kind of undo it a little bit. So, that's definitely going to be what I'm going to be using this weekend, pitching under all the docks and in the stuff like that. So, I'll be using that. Yeah, definitely go check out these guys, get some, and make sure you check out Mr. Tackle Box. I also have some very exciting news in this video as well. So then we have these craws, they're nothing too special. Big Bite Baits make some really awesome scented stuff. They, when I met the MLF, they gave me about $300 worth of tackle, which was really nice of them and stuff. So, shout out to Big Bite Baits. So yeah, these are just some little, you can net, net rig this, really, I would net rig, net rig this. It's a little bit, it's a little too small for Texas rig, so I definitely Ned rig this. But that's a great bait to put on the bottom. So, my exciting news. Alright, so I had a guy kind of like reach out to me just a little bit. Well, he didn't reach out to me, I kind of did too. We were kind of, 
he was looking for some people to uh, sponsor. And I submitted an application and stuff, and I'm actually a sponsor of Fisherman now. It's fly fishing. I've sponsored in fly fishing line. That's Cortland Fly Line. So they have, well, not just fly line. They have bass fishing line. Uh, they have tippet, fly line. Go check them out. Like, seriously, it's a pretty awesome product. So I'm working through the process right now. But I am a sponsor fisherman now, which is really cool. And I'm super excited to do this whole thing with them. So definitely go check out Cortland Line. I don't have a, I, I haven't even figured out how to put the, you know, like when you point like that. I haven't figured out how to do that yet. All right, guys. So let's get back to talking about what I was talking about. So I really love jigs. And this jig just is a perfect example of jigs. Why I love these jigs. And these crops are pretty sweet too. So yeah, I'll be flipping this under docks and stuff like that. And that sorts. And I really do love to fish this on a heavy rod with a uh, DC reel. Because it just, I just like that. So yeah, that's what I love to fish this with. We have the motor boat. I'm still skeptical about this. But I'll fish this on like a lighter rod. With some mono line. And that'll do really well with this bait. So that's about oh wait, we do have a couple more things in here, guys. So as you know with catch toe, they give you tips and tricks and stuff like that. So we have a couple more things to go over in here. But then we also have some uh some mustad hooks, just uh Texas rig, so those are good. So this is this is kind of cool actually. I'm thinking about keeping uh, a little bin or so, a, a bag in my boat of these cards because it tells you where to fish the juicy, juicy jig. So basically at this point it's telling you to fish it at down trees, under bridges, around rocks, docks, tree stumps, rip rap, points, grass, weed lines, matted cover, stuff like that. So that's pretty cool guys. And then it's telling you also where to fish the motorboat here. So, I'm definitely going to need this because this is funky. I, I don't even know where I would fish this. So, here it's telling us basically to fish it ev to fish it everywhere you fish the jig. And then this is just some tips and tricks. And this is the pricing here. So, the 13 Fishing Motorboat Hybrid Prop Bait is $9. Oh, I would not pay nine dollars for this but the nice thing about mystery tackle boxes is, is to get you to fish things that you normally wouldn't so i would definitely try this bait out the guggen squad juicy jig is five dollars the thunderhawk craw camel craw is five dollars the big bite baits yama is 350 and the mustad needle hook point is 180. so and then we got this pretty pretty cool sticker right there That'll end the video up for today. Thank you guys for 160 subscribers. And we actually just hit 1,500 views on my uh, channel. So I'm very thankful for that. You guys all have a great day.